Now that you've hopefully understood the uh, concept of Guardian, let's place a few trades in there and, and see how it looks and the way that it manages it. What I'm going to do is, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's vary it. Let's change things around a bit. Let's, let's mix things up. In this particular market, I've reversed the book. Um, I've set the tick size to a pound um, and I'm going to put an order in at 2.14. So at the moment we've got this order sat waiting to fill at 2.14. It will offset it by 100, do a trailing stop. Nope, it won't do a trailing stop because I haven't ticked it. <laughs> Let's correct that immediately. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave that. I'm going to skip off to another market. So let's look down here. Uh, let's do another one at air, shall we? Um, similar scenario. We're not going to get filled at um, 2.6, but there is a gap at 2.58. So let's... Uh, Let's do one there. Oh look, you can see here, it says here, Pontifract, suspended last suspension, um, 143. Uh, basically, probably a horse has been withdrawn from this market, or Betfair have just reordered the market. So you can see here all of the status of exactly what's going on in this market. You can also see unmatched bets here. Can you see that one just turned to zero there? You may want to rewind the video to look at that. The reason that that has disappeared is because we put a 30 second fill or kill delay on it. So, you know, let's increase that to 60, give ourselves a better chance of filling. Unmatched bet down here, pending fill or kill. I'll skip forward to this market, we'll, we'll try again at 258. <clears throat> In fact, let's try at 262 as well, I think we'll get filled there. Look at that book percentage, 99.6. Makes me want to skip to the Dutching tab right now and take advantage of it. So that's been filled. Um, the next order has gone in. Um, it's placed it at 21 because we've offset it by 100 ticks and we're waiting for it to close out. If it goes into 254, it will get closed out automatically. But for the moment, we'll leave that as it is. In fact, the price has come in a little bit. You can see we've got this order at 254, so I'm going to cancel that for the moment because we don't really want two orders in the market at the same time, not for demonstration purposes. So you can see here, one unmatched bet, um, which is the closing position, and we've had three bets filled. And that is because it didn't take our uh, £50, somebody took 18p, a big spender, somebody took 47.50, and somebody took £2.12 out of that. Um, let's have a look at the market after this. Let's see if we've got some other opportunities here. Yeah, there's a, a right mixture here, so we can go into the um, 140 here. Um, I'm going to put my order in at 222 here, and uh, leave that in there. But you can basically see that um, that first order at Yarmouth has been cancelled as well, so maybe we could uh, pop another order in here, see if we can get filled. <coughs> but all of the time that we're doing this, what's actually happening is we're only ever viewing one market at a time, but Guardian is running around in the background and actively managing our positions. If I go back into the 220 at air, you can see it's going to close us out 254. We're net zero on that at the moment. All of this is being managed in the background without us having to intervene in, in any shape or form whatsoever. There's no need for us to manage that. Guardian is managing that in the background. And this allows you to run multiple positions in multiple sports over multiple markets all at the same time. And you can just flick backwards and forwards from the Guardian screen. You can undock this, you can pin it, you can shrink it, you can do all manner of things to this. Um, but basically, obviously, if you have a multi-screen setup, you just park it on another screen and flick across from one screen to another. Uh, it still haven't been filled in this market at 214. It looks like we may actually get filled um, very soon on this, so I'll leave that. I was going to cancel that. This market is fairly uh, moribond, or catatonic, I love those two words. Amorphous is another word that I like that would suitably describe this market. Um, we could close this position out for net zero, actually slightly net one, but you can see there's not much activity on. So this is something you typically do when there's lots of markets who are looking to take a position within the market, whether it's tennis, cricket, football, horse racing, that you want to hold for a reasonable length of time but it will all be managed automatically um, and that's the essence of Guardian.